Hello and welcome to Dreamcatcher Lady. Today we're going to be making a paper plate Dreamcatcher and it's quite simple. All you need is a paper plate, wool of your favourite colour, something circular to draw around, a pencil, I nearly lost my pencil there, some stickers or colouring in pens, cranes, um, if you wish to decorate your plate, a pair of scissors, something to use to make small holes with, ideally a paper punch, but because we are in lockdown, I'm not able to get my paper punch or buy a replacement. So at the moment I'm using my kebab skewer, so only adults use anything that's sharp, and I'm going to use one of my crochet hooks to make the holes bigger. Now these are for ad whatever you decide to use, unless it's a hole punch, make sure you've got adults, same with scissors. So here we go. First of all, draw a circle around the centre of your plate and then cut the circle out. Now it's easy if you make a hole in the centre and then use your scissors to just cut and as such. This is where you'll need help with an adult. And just take your time and watch your fingers. Mm -hmm. Very careful. Right. Now we have our circle. Now we need to make eight holes. So you need to get an adult to help you make the holes. So make eight holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Just all the way round. Okay. Make sure you count them. Now I'm just going to make the holes just slightly bigger since I don't have a hole punch. There we go. And make sure you're counting as you're going round. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There we go. Now, get a bit of wool. And we're going to thread it through our one of our holes. Just like so. And tie a knot. Now, this is where you make your web and you can basically do it any way you wish. I'm going to just randomly thread it through all different wee holes and make a pattern. This is where it's good if you get a hole punch because the holes are bigger and it's easier to thread through. I'm going to cheat and use my crochet hook. Or if you have a darning needle in the house, that's a good way of doing it as well, to thread it through. Oops, where are we going? We're going over here now. Oh no, we'll go up here to this bit. You could even ha have beads. If you've got nice fancy beads, like chunky beads. But today I'm not putting chunky beads. I'm just going to do this. There we go. And at the end, Going to take it up through 
the very first hole we were at and tie a knot. And that keeps it all nice and secure and safe. Okay, and then we just need to snip that off. And that's us got our web. Now, I'm going to make a hole up at the top, just round about here. Just so I can put another bit of wool through. And the reason I'm doing this is so we can hang it up. Got. And just trim that off. There we go. Now we're ready for hanging. Now we can decorate. I've got spaceship stickers because I quite like spaceships. So just stick them on and decorate your dream catcher. There we go. Now how is that? Now I'm going to put a couple of holes in the bottom and make some lovely strands come down. Again, be careful. Get an adult to help you at this bit. And then I'm going to cut some pieces of wool. Now you can use ribbon here as well. All different colours. As I say, I'm using pink. Because it's a nice cheery colour. And nice and bright. Now that we're coming into springtime. Well, we're now in spring. So all the birds are starting to... Singing the mornings and waking us up. There we go. And just thread that through and tie a knot. There we go. There we go. The last one. There we go. And there's your dream catcher. All ready. Now you can put as many different strands all hanging down as you want. And then now all you need to do is hang your dream catcher up. So now you've made your dream catcher. All you need to do now, go and hang it up and take a picture and show me. Okay. Now you just take care. And have sweet dreams and I'll speak to you later. Bye.